Hello guys, today I will show you how to replace the round encoded disk of Canon PIXMA MG2570S. So first of all we want to remove the outer cover of this printer, uh, top cover of the printer. For that we want to remove four screws which are fixed on four sides of the printer. Carefully remove the components which are connected to the uh, top cover and keep in mind that these connections are very fragile. Slightly slide the top cover upwards and remove it. Just like this. And next we want to remove our format mode for this motherboard. unscrew the uh, top two screws and gently push back the board from the bracket carefully slide up the motherboard from the bracket okay just like this For this we want to unscrew two screws which are fixed in the bottom side of the printer just like this. These screws have different sizes so keep it in mind. To unscrew the three screws which are fixed to the down part of the printer just like this. Try not to touch on the strip encoder, it's very fragile. Now we want to unplug the cartridges from the rail. You can see this is a CIS system printer. You can find that video also in my channel. Keep it that side and now we want to remove the uh, a rod which connect to the encoder disk this is the main reason which clog the sensor so we want to clean it up now you can see the encoder disk which is completely damaged you can see that clearly the encoder disk is damaged by the ink this is the new encoder disk both have different part numbers but both are same the diameters and the sensor strips are safe so it's not a big deal try not to bend this thin piece of plastic you can see the sorry the magnetic stripes on this round and coder now we want to keep it in mind that these two have different part numbers but both of them are same and the MRP or the price of these are different one cost around uh, 400 rupees now this is the new replacement having QC26384 part number I think uh, every Canon printer has the same encoder disk the old one is the QC48068 you can see the IF symbol that is much more thicker than the new replacement Both are same. Outer diameter and the inner diameter and the holes are everything are perfect. So you can easily find this replacement on Amazon Flipkart or on the local market. So it's not a big deal to replace this 
encode a disk so uh, we could we now carefully peel off the uh, sticker protect the sticker Now place the rod carefully to the outer shell of the printer just like this. Use a magnetized screwdriver for this use, that will be more easy, otherwise the screws will <laughs> drop down to the printer. It will make you some messy problems. Now fix the cartridge, cartridge rail to the printer. Now generally connect all these cables, first we want to connect these, first we want to fit this bracket, keep in mind that the wire does not get jammed under this bracket otherwise they will be shorted because these are all metal. Now carefully place the motherboard to the bracket just like this. Keep in mind that these are all micro boards so try not to damage any of these cables or any of these components which are exposed. There are two screws which are uh, different from others in length and thread also there very different so keep it in mind adjust the motherboard with the bracket otherwise the USB cable portion will be slightly changed ok now the board is fixed on the bracket now we want to connect the cables then we insert these flex cables to the motherboard that's it Yes, everything is fine. The cartridges are not touching any of these cables. Now gently place the outer or top cover to the printer side. Okay. Try not to bend these flex cables. And that's it. 
we have placed the uh, round and coated this gun now we are testing our printouts now you can see there are no white lines or any other defects on the printing now it's fine okay thanks for watching please be subscribed and get the notification bells on and we will see you next week thank you